have 20 times as many options as women in the same category. Yeah. But women don't realize that and they're sharing men and don't know they're sharing men. So here's the thing. A lot of times what will happen is, and I, here, I don't want you to answer with your answer. What I would like for you to answer is think about your like five closest female friends. Oh, okay. And uh, then you I want know, you to- You know who you need to- you know who we're talking about now. <laughs> okay, okay, you got it. Okay, so I want you to answer for them. Okay. What they think, and then we're going to talk about percentages because when we talk about, remember we said about delusion. What happens is a woman is dating a guy who she thinks is really good looking, smart, or whatever, and she doesn't realize how many other women are trying to get with that same guy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like men at the top have s- infinite options, and the rest of men have zero. Yeah. Right. Twenty six percent of men under the age of thirty are virgins. Right. 33% of men under, uh, 33% of men under the age of of 30 have had zero sexual partners in the last year. Yeah. Serious. Yeah, you didn't know this? That's serious. Yeah. No, you, you're joking. No, so do you remember what I said? Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and I came across this channel called The Moa Podcast, and and he's basically talking about how unattainable um, the 1% man is to most women. And it's so funny, women, we already know that the modern Western woman um, she bases everything that she does on her own feelings. Feelings are the gospel truth to her. Feelings are facts. It, it and what she thinks is, is it's, it, it has to be true. They don't take the time to research anything. They don't take the time to understand anything. It is all about me, 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 my feelings, my thoughts. And so when you present women with facts, they're just in shock. They can't believe it. Why are these guys saying all these things about women and 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 and, and all these things? And they, they're putting us down for and saying we're for the street and all these things because they they don't even take the time to understand why. They there's no concept outside of their own reality that could be true. So when you present them with facts, they're in shock. They're in disbelief. This is really what they doubt it. They can't believe it. And so we have, I have talked about on this channel many times, the young men between 18 and 30, there are more men who are virgins than there are fe- women who are virgins. And that while more men are the increasing numbers of virgins, um, between that age range, the incre- there is an increasing number of body count of women in that same age category. Does anybody think that the number of female virgins are increasing in the ages between 18 and 30? Anyone, anyone? No, but how many people would believe that the numbers are increasing with men between that age who are increasingly virgins? And why is this? And I have said it, people can get mad at it. I really don't care. The modern day woman prostitutes herself for Chad and Tyrone, who she sees as the top 1%. Women don't want a man on their looks level. Men don't want, women don't want, I'm sorry, women don't want a man on their looks level. Women don't want a man that's average like them. Women are trying to all clamoring for the same top 1% man. And this is what this gentleman is trying to explain to her. Because, and and again, people are saying, oh, we overuse the term narcissist and narcissistic. I am not saying that all these women have narcissistic personality disorder, the actual diagnosis. It's actually rare for people to get diagnosed with NPD because they are the least likely to seek out therapy. And and just so you know, if a person does have NPD, they cannot, it's permanent, it's baked in. They can learn to modify behavior and learn logically what empathy is and to understand, but that it's who they are is baked in. But what I see, especially with the age of social media and dating apps, that women have become increasingly more narcissistic in their behavior. Everyone has a level of narcissism where it's self-focused, but with women, it is to an extreme, whether it's the thirst trapping for validation and attention, it's, um, you know, on the dating apps, only swiping right on the men that they, that appear physically like arm candy. There used to be a time and place where, you know, it was men they were that wanted a trophy wife or arm arm candy type of wife, but now women want an arm candy man. And, and so women, and they, and they feel as though they have these plethora of options and all these men that want to wife them up. So think about it. If you have all these options, if you're getting all this validation, the media doesn't tell you the truth. Social media doesn't tell you the truth. Your friends don't tell you the truth. You're in an echo chamber of how every woman's a perfect 10. Every woman deserves the best. Every woman deserves love. Every woman's this, that, and the other. And in that echo chamber, they also put down men, the average man, they put, they don't even see the average man. Like, let's be honest, but they will say the behavior of Chad and Tyrone or the top 1% man, that all men behave this way. All men all men do these things when they don't even 
they don't even recognize, think about a blue collar man. They don't even know that he's alive. He did, he's, he's just a tool to be used in society. So because they're in these echo chambers where they're perfect and men are the problem and that they're getting simps and people giving them validation, of course, they, they think th that they are it, that it is them alone, that this man, that once he, you know, once he, he sees me, once he's with me, I am the table. I don't need to bring anything to the table. Because I, I am, me being born with a vagina makes me valuable to all men. And on the, these, you know, and any man I choose, he's going to have to be on my level when he's actually the men that they choose, quote unquote, or above them in looks, level and status. But this is the thing. They don't realize that that 1% man, he's not serious about them. He's just knocking her down. She, she, she's below him in every possible way. But the reason why he's even dealing with her because she's easy, she's slim pickings. She's not as difficult to attain as a woman that may be on his level. And so a lot of women, again, and I, I did that whole long spill because you have to understand the modern woman's mindset is very narcissistic. Me, me, me focused. They can't even believe there's other women that they're in competition with because there's no competition. I'm a bad bee. And we see this and that's why she's surprised women that that's how deluded women are in general. They really don't think that there's anybody else that this man can want or that he has options that if I don't, if he's not with me, he doesn't really have any true options outside of me because I'm special and I'm a 10. Said before, 80% of men are deemed unattractive on social media. Apps. Yeah. So a third of men have no luck with women whatsoever. And it seems interesting, right? It seems but like you also live in hollywood you you you're around that scene those men are attractive and um wealthy and have status but if we go to like temecula and to the walmart there and you say okay which who's fucking this bartender or who's fucking this cashier you're like oh yeah nobody if we go to jack in the box you're like so you see the guy managing the jack in the box who's fucking the mat you'd be like oh well no one's fucking him and then you'd be like oh, okay that's where the 33 percent of men because most women don't even see those men you don't even like notice that they're there i have not watched this I have not watched this guys. I do, I do dead reactions, meaning like the video was dead to me before that. I just saw the title. I maybe watched the first like 10 seconds just to get an idea of what's going on. But when I said that men, the average men, the majority of men are invisible to women, men who are not in the top percentages, they are invisible. Blue collar men especially are invisible to the average woman. And that's, it's amazing that he just confirmed. I mean, I knew that already, but it's amazing. And, but this blows a woman's mind. She can't even, she's like, what? He's ignored? What? I don't do that. Right. Right. So this is what, this is the calculator. And just, I'm just curious, like what you think these numbers are. So what I'm going to do is ask, answer for your friends. Just think of your five closest friends. And then you're just going to answer for them. Okay? okay. So the first thing is age. What, what is the age range? Do you think your, your friends would be attracted to? Yeah, are we talking about the guys right now? Guys, okay. your female friends. So your five closest female friends. Okay. And then we're going to say the age range of men that they're attracted to. Um, I would say 35, 45. 35, 45. Good. All right, let's do that. So we're going to go 45. 35, 45. To 35. There we go. Now, uh, I have to ask this. We're excluding married men. What is that? We're what? excluding. We're not including married men. They can't pick oh, for married men. Oh, no, okay. no, no, now, no. Now, it's really funny because the number of women who actually date married women is way higher than the number of women who say they will date married men. No, it's not good. Okay, agreed. I don't, uh, re I don't respect that. Beautiful. Uh, we don't care what race or is there a particular race? No. We don't care what race. No. So we're going to pick any race. What is the minimum height? Remember your friends. Don't lie. This is the one where everybody, oh, all the girls start grimacing. Be real. What is your, there's no cameras on us right now. You guys are having fucking martinis or drinking mimosas at brunch. And you're talking about, he's too short. What is too short? What is the minimum height for minimum the guy? 5 it's minimum 5'10". Minimum 5'10". There we go. Okay. The average Amer North American male is 5'9". So we're going to go 5'10". Got it? Okay. Now here's another one. I have to tell you this because it's going to seem obvious, but it's not. We're excluding obese men, correct? Or would we allow heavy, fat, fat men? <laughs> no. No fat men. No. Okay. No, like, let's be honest, guy. Mm -hmm. Who wants to date a fat man? Okay, but he's got to be 5'10", right? Yeah. And he's between the age of 35 and 45, and he's not obese, right? Ready? Here's another one. Be honest. Not you. Your friends. Minimum income. Mm. See? Look at the look on her face. It's so great. We got to clip. <laughs> Char, we got to clip this. This is so great. What? Minimum income per year. That's a difficult question. Yeah. 
your friends, but it's not you. Obviously, no, you, not me. I'm obviously, not talking you don't. About me. Obviously, you don't care about money at all. I don't care. But yes. your friends, I have a different story. Five, five closest friends. What are they? Uh, what's their minimum income? They're gonna search okay, for. Okay, let's say. Is it amazing? It's never them. Oh, my friends. See, the all her friends are like this, but she's not. And we don't believe birds of a feather flock together. I, as a woman, I have a difficult time forming friendships with the vast majority of women out here. Um, if I'm, I'm going to be friends with a woman, it's she's going to be married, a more traditional woman um, that has certain types of value. So I, a woman who has certain values, she can't even be around women who are like this. So if she's saying, well, it's not me, it is you. It is you. She may not want to admit it to herself. She may not want to. She's going She's going to virtue signal that it's not. But if all her friends are this way, but she's the odd one out, why is she friends with these women in the first place? It is uncomfortable for me to be around women like that because I can't be myself. And I can't stand the way they think and they speak. Like, I just don't have any. We may can bond on some things, but when it comes to relationship and their mindsets, it just is a turn off to me for friendship. So please do not believe a woman when she says, oh, my friends are this way, but I'm different. I'm special. I'm not like every other girl. Yes, you are. That's why they're your friends. A, um, 100K. 100K. Yeah. Okay, cool. 100K. That's, that's, uh, that puts you in um, Century City, maybe. You can't quite live in Hollywood, right? She knows 100K is cap. That is not in California her that they think 100k is enough stop the cap all right cool so we're talking about a man who is um 35 to 45 he's not married okay so we're excluding all married men we're excluding uh you know we're excluding anyone under 510 we're excluding obese men and we're excluding men that make under one hundred thousand dollars a year now so my question for you is what percentage of men in the united states do you think that is hmm I would say handsome, these, the, not Forget around. handsome, just those things we said. We said not married, any race, five tall, five feet, 10, not obese, and earning $100,000 a year. 40%? 40% of men? Yeah. 40% of men? Yeah, it's less than 1% of men. <laughs> <laughs> it's Seriously? less than 1%, yeah. Yeah, oh so God. so let's let's go through the problems. You Forty percent. This is how the average woman thinks that forty percent of men make that. And this, keep in mind, we're not including it whether he's he's handsome, which she brought up. We know five ten. Come on, stop the cap. It's going to be over six feet. Now I'm hearing a lot of women they want over six two. I'm I'm seeing the ball being moved up. You know the 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 minimum being moved up. Then he's got to be charming. He can't be awkward. He's can't give her the ick with anything else that he does. He's got to be romantic. He, but he's also got to be a bad boy. He's got to, you know, like if we start factoring that all in, where are these men and why would they want you? And I'm, again, I'm not trying to go in on her. I'm using her as an example of the modern woman. I don't know her you know, specifically, I don't know her. So I'm not putting, her, I'm not going in on her, but she is an example of the modern woman today. Even the ones that don't seem that bad, the ones that seem reasonable, the ones that seem like they're feminine, they still hold these deluded ideals. And even though she says she's not after money, like her friends, you think she wants a man that makes less than a hundred thousand and she lives in West Hollywood, California. Really? That's what, that's what we're going to believe. Guys, just, just go blind, deaf, and dumb, and we're just going to believe these modern women today. Why? What's well, the problem with all that they mentioned? So, so <laughs> you, when you said not married and not obese, you excluded almost all men. Yeah. Like 40-something, what percentage? 75% uh, of Americans are obese. Really? Yeah, seventy-five percent of Amer Americans are That's fat. It's seventy percent. Oh my god! Seventy percent. Seventy percent. Yeah, it, it, no. the average guy is carrying about thirty pounds. Oh, overweight. The average woman is one hundred and seventy-three. Yeah, the average pounds. woman in the United States is one hundred and seventy pounds. Hard. You know, you're talking to me. I live in Hollywood. Everyone handsome. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. Yeah, to, right. So, but you thought yeah. forty percent of men. But now, ready? Let's keep going. Ready? Okay. So, <laughs> when you say not married, you're actually excluding a ton of men. And guess what? The good-looking men who are fit and make a lot of money, guess what they all are? 
they're married <laughs> and you excluded them. You see the problem there? It's a huge, which is reason why so, if you ask women, what percentage of you would consider dating a married man? It's gonna be like 6% of women. If you look at how many of them actually dated a married man, it's gonna be like in the mid forties and they wow. didn't know he was married, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the thing I'm gonna ask you. So when we talk about any race, with any race, so that's everyone, five foot 10, right? What percentage of the population is over six feet tall? What do you think? I don't know, but I thought I, I thought I was too nice to say five ten. Yeah. To be honest, I'm like uh, like uh, better six zero, but yeah. five ten. So what I percent? What six feet tall? What percentage of the I don't of know, but not a tall? lot. Not. Did I call it? Did I call it? She was capping on the five ten. We knew it was six feet. Like such a lot. A lot. I think like I don't know, but twenty percent. Fourteen percent of men are 14. six feet tall. Yeah, six foot three. It's one percent of men. Yeah, I hear women all the time say, "I'm not going to date a guy under six foot three. I hear it all the time. Ready? I just said that. I said about six two. I wanted to say six three, but I've heard more of six two. But I know women want six three. Okay, okay. Your girl is actually coming with some data and some facts. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't get my list up. A pat on the head. I got gel, so it's a little little crunchy right now. Okay. All right. Let's continue. The next thing I'm going to ask you is not obese. Again, we said that's like 25 percent of men that are left. Okay. Oh, okay. And then the last one, hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay. What percentage of men do you think make more than a hundred thousand dollars a year? Not a lot. Yeah. So it's, it's, I think you're in the, the top 26%, I yeah. believe that's what yeah, it is. Top 20, top 10%, five. top 10%, I think is like around 200,000 a year and top 1% is 600,000 a year. Top 0.1% is 3.2 million a year. That's what they make. So when you're in Los Angeles, uh, or if you talk to one of those guys who has a house up in the hills, if he makes $400,000 a year, he's in the top like 2% of men as far as wage earners are concerned. And that, but that's all you mean, right? Now, here's the thing. You, the, the, all these ladies that you just spoke about, they have to choose from less than 1% of men. Impossible. And if you said, hold on a thing. That's what, why they're single. Well, th thank you. But here, let's go back and let's do, you said six feet tall. Let's do six feet tall. Let's do everything that you just said, but we'll do six feet tall. And by the way, I don't think any of your female friends would have said a hundred thousand. I don't think a single one of them. I think every one of them would have said higher than a hundred thousand. Uh, I was too loyal, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you if, were being generous yeah. is what you were being. Right? If they're six feet tall, 0.45% of men oh my like God. 45 or like uh like four tenths of one percent of men are in there so what we can do instead is a male delusional calculator <laughs> this is this is gonna be good male delusional calculator ready now i'm gonna do the same thing you did you want to do it with me i'll Glenn? do it with you we'll do, do it with you Glenn. okay so what is our ideal age what do you think you know what we're gonna say uh 24 Five to thirty. Well, my girlfriend's twenty-one, so I'm okay, put, yeah, we'll do I'm twenty-one put, to I'm thirty. Put twenty-one, and but to be fair, I didn't. I thought she was like twenty-three when we met. She's yeah. twenty-one, uh, and I'll say that the, my upper limit. I have dated someone who's like thirty-four, so I yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Okay. When I met when I met Nicole, she was thirty-two. So there you go. So we're gonna exclude married. <laughs> we'll exclude married. Yeah. Men don't give a fuck. We don't at care. All, but we're gonna exclude married. <laughs> we're gonna exclude mothers. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll exclude. We'll we're gonna exclude moms. mothers, but a lot of men don't men care. Don't care. They don't, don't care. care. Right? Any race. Any race, any race, dude. <laughs> like my homeboy said, if they're if if they're brown, he's down. <laughs> yeah, they're a minority. They're his priority, right? <laughs> Height. You know what? We're gonna say. You know what? Nothing. Nothing above what five eleven. I have absolutely dated a six foot woman. Yeah, same same here. So I'm gonna go four eleven to six feet. Yeah. We don't care about. We don't height. care about your See, height. The, thing, the advantage we have is we don't care about height or money. The two most important things women care about are height, height and, and money. money. Yeah. And the two things that men absolutely don't care about are height and money. Right? Isn't that weird? Okay, exclude obese and overweight. Obviously, Obviously. We're gonna do that. yeah, we're going to do that. And then minimum income. Don't care. Zero. <laughs> we don't care. Remember, remember, it was point. Not, it's only you don't care, guys. But a lot of guys. I would say care. I would say fewer than five percent of men actually would have a beautiful woman and say, "I'm not going to date her because she doesn't make any money." Ma the vast majority of men who are looking for a long-term partner who he's going to have kids with do not care how much money she makes. There are exceptions, a, a, a male cardi. And this is why women are so offended by passport bros, because they know they're going to countries where it, it, it that are not as economically viable as the United States has been, or where the American dollar can stretch further. And they cannot believe that they would rather go to these other countries with these poor women with no education and want to be with them. Oh, and it's because they want to control them and because they're perverts and because of that. And they're only, it, they're only saying these things because they, it, it, they're offended 
that a man, it doesn't see them as the boss chick, you know, as valuable as somebody as a prize. How can you pick a woman? I did all this for a career and education and you're just going to go and pick a woman who doesn't have anything. I'm better than her. And, and that, this is why men have the world at their oyster in terms of finding women that are actual wives all around the world. The Western woman has no options except for the men in the Western world and Western men are, are, are fleeing relationships with these men. They are, they are avoiding Western women at all costs. If a woman here in the West cannot find and date and marry a man here, she does not have options anywhere else because you think these men from more traditional countries are going to want to wife up a woman like this. Plus they care about money more. So they're going to want a man who makes more. And it is hard to beat out in terms of earning potential and earning value that the men in the West have compared to the men around the world. So when Women have, they have eliminated themselves from having any options while men have the world as their oyster. And this is why they're really mad about at Passport Bros. Cardiologists may want to marry a female cardiologist for sure. That definitely happens. A male gymnast may want to marry a female gymnast and they have some level of income for sure. But I think that has more to do with profession than income. Yeah. But Mike, how many guys marry the waitress or like yeah. marry the, they marry the yeah. salon, you know, tech? All right. So what percentage of women do you think that we talked about not married, no children, any race between four eleven and six feet tall, not overweight and any income. A lot. It's more. 10, it's 10%. 10%. Yeah. So more than, so the, the point is we have, you said six feet tall before we have 20 times as many options as women in the same category, Yeah. but women don't realize that. And they're sharing men and don't know they're sharing men. You live in Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying is true. Yeah. Have you seen there's a there's a group uh, on Facebook called Are We Dating the Same Guy? Have you seen this? No. It's this. It's they do it city by city, and all these women go in there and they show pictures the guys are dating, and they say, "Are we dating the same?" But guys, that's it for this video. I, I just find it interesting that women they the. They are only clamoring for these top men and it is hurting themselves. I'm done trying to convince women. Otherwise I, I highlight the issues here and hopefully women will listen. But once a woman is set in a certain ways, I, I don't see her changing. I think that women will keep, even you see the older ones still in this delusional mindset that they're going to find the one and that they, that it's all going to work out. They just, they, you cannot accept reality until they are slapped in the face with it. Um, and can these women find a good man? Absolutely. Can they get married? Absolutely. Can they find a great, um, uh, a great husband out here? Yes, but they don't want these men. Why? Because they disqualify him because of his height, what he does for a living, what he looks like and also how much that he makes and even though that man may be on their level oh, that is not good enough to these narcissistic women the western women which most of them have nar strong narcissistic traits they cannot accept something on their level because they they can't accept where they are this so it's this delusional circle jerk that they keep each other in and keep hoping and grasping at straws while men are just opting out. They're done dealing with the delusion and the craziness. And honestly, is the juice even worth the squeeze to even be with one of these women long-term? Absolutely not. All right, guys, that's the end of this. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.